This is a fundamental question that I'm sure a lot of investors need the answer to or need a debate around, which is, should you take your money, buy a property and live in it and then pay off the rent? Or should you take your money, invest in a property, put tenants in there, and then you yourself go and rent elsewhere? So maybe a good place to start is by separating the two of these and looking at each one of these uh, as their own kind of scenario. What is the advantage of buying a property and living in it and paying down the mortgage? Why do property investors sometimes make that choice? Look, Raj, this is a long debate which we can have, but to put it down shortly, uh, the number one reason people buy their own homes and live in it is a sense of security, a sense of belonging, and uh, you know, a sense of owning your own home, right? Because if you own your own home, Nobody can move you out. Nobody can sell it off. Such it's, as a landlord. Such as a landlord or, you know, so you know you're not going to be asked to move out of it because it's your own. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the biggest reasons uh, people like owning homes. Uh, secondly, it can also be passed on to other generations. You mm -hmm. know, I, I, mean, I mean, there are people who've had homes for generations, you know, the first generation, second generation, they've been living in the same houses. Uh, so that's uh, one major reason. Uh, and and to, to a lot of people I know, it's, uh, you know, it gives them that happiness that I stay in my own home. It gives them uh, peace of mind. And uh, both these things are priceless. Mm. You know, having peace of mind and happiness is priceless. So that's something which a lot of people, it's, it's an emotional attachment. Uh, so that's one uh, reason people buy their own homes so it's, cutting away from the emotional yeah. side though like just from a, a straight numbers point of view like how is it how does it make economic sense to own your own home and pay it off look when you are paying off for your own home you're not paying a rent mm. see anything you pay rent for you're not going to get it back mm -hmm. uh, when you are paying for your own home you are eventually uh building an asset mm. in my opinion it is an asset because uh, there's a lot of debate around it but eventually if you sell you're going to get money back right it could and the chances are over a period of time you're going to get much more than what you paid for because over a period of time we've always seen property appreciate and not depreciate yeah there could be some chances that it depreciated but those chances are very less and even if you see the depreciation if there is any it will definitely be lesser than the amount you must have paid in rent for all those years. Right. So, for example, if you spent two million on a property and through some bad luck, five years later when you choose to sell it, it's 10% less. So you've lost 200,000 dirhams. Right. You'd have spent much more than 200,000 dirhams living in a property that cost two million over exactly. five years in rent. You'd have lost that money permanently definitely mm. and not only that Raj also you need to understand if it's your own home any money you spend on the property itself yeah. say if it's a villa or a townhouse you've built some extensions you've made a pool you've upgraded the house even if it's an apartment you've upgraded it beautifully spend money on it it's going to add value to the property right when you're staying in a tenanted property I mean in a rented property even if you do any additions you're going to only use it till the time you're using the property mm. When you vacate, it's not going to come with you mm. or it's not going to give you any value. Mm. The landlord is not going to pay you for making upgrades, mm. right? So that's another factor because a lot of time, you know, uh, people uh, don't uh, realize this, but whatever money you've spent on the property while living in it, that also along with the rent goes waste. And sometimes you end up reversing it, right? So you might spend money on the property. The landlord might be like, I want this out by the exactly. time the next tenant moves in. Yes. So you spend again. Yes, to remove it that and also then, happens because the landlord might say listen i want the apartment or the townhouse or villa whichever property it is in the same way which i handed over to you mm -hmm. which uh, you know then you're going to spend to make it back yeah there's a cost on the way in and a cost on the way out yeah and then i guess finally th the promised land for most people is that if you do pay it off you end up with a property then that's only job is to either let you live in it for free or if you end up ultimately renting that property out, it just becomes a cash generating asset for you long term. Definitely. Do, you, do your clients think about that though? Do they think that typically, will a typical client think that far ahead? Yeah, look, I mean, any, any, anybody uh, who's buying a property doesn't think about one year or two year 
Okay, especially when they're buying to live in. Yeah. Right? They're looking at the long term. Five years, 10 years, 15 years. And not only that, I've also seen, especially, you know, uh, with families that, okay, listen, even if we don't live in it, maybe our kids go- are going to use it. So it's, it's you know, it can, and it's something which is today a real asset, which you can actually touch, feel, see, hold. Uh, and for a lot of people, as I said earlier, it's it's a sense of, you know, it's, it's it gives them uh that that feeling of uh, being secured because they're living in their own home mm, mm. you know and and even when you're paying off a mortgage as well raj you know you paid it over a period of 8 10 years unlike rent you know it's not wasted money mm. and also depending on the numbers as well you might find that your mortgage payments end up being less than rent yes it, so it, from a cash in, flow perspective in, it could in, have in, short-term in, benefits look it depends uh, again uh, you know which market you are in Mm -hmm. but uh, there could be a lot of scenarios where your rent payments are much lesser than the mortgage payments good so that summarizes why somebody would buy a property and live in it